I'm still your host, John Wills, and last week we talked about purpose. Today we'll be talking about passion. So, uh, we still have right here with us, Mr. Elon Jobs, Dr. Elon Jobs, actually, and he is actually going to shed more light on how passion is actually necessary in the journey of purpose. Mr. Elon Jobs, can you ever shed more light on the necessity of passion? All right, Bruce, thank you for what you did. Well, if you look at the way I'm entering into the conversation, you're passionate. No matter. That aside, the only conversation of passion is not, not the rather, not the only thing. It can come from this standpoint of calmness, you know, as much as you want. And sometimes it may be a need to put an energy to things. So it's not a frequency ritual. There's nothing like that. Passion is a fuel, you know. And if passion is a fuel, you don't want to park your car and as such, you still want to burn your fuel. And you don't want to be walking at old dog, because I buy a movie, and you want to wash. So passion is a nitro, you mm-hmm. know what And it is meant to be used according to the measure that is required. That's yeah. it. Passion is the drive. It's what keep you awake every day. It's what to make you come to the studio to have this production every day. It's the drive. You know, the purpose, I talk about purpose, that is the clarity of why. Why is that like, essentially you want to go on this journey? Why do you want to get these things? So if you are clear about your purpose, it will give you passion. It will produce the fuel, the drive. You, know, you don't need to be passionate in order to eat when you're hungry. Exactly. Because you are clear, you have the plenty of hunger. So the problem that you want to you know, quench your hunger, mm-hmm. your quench your taste. So that way, you have the energy you know, to go ahead and take. So the whole thing, because a lot of people say, okay, what's my passion? What's my passion? What's my passion? As much as one thing I've noticed that reading wide and far and um, I'm proud, uh, I've noticed that there's still these two things that people look for quite often, which is the conversation we have last week, that of purpose, and the second one which we are having now, mm-hmm. which is passion. Yeah, I'm not passionate, I'm looking for things I'm passionate about. There's no other passionate thing about things. If you are clear on why exactly you need to get things, you don't need to be looking for an answer for it. If you are clear that your car, you are having a car. You know that what you need is petrol. Mm-hmm. And you pay that it's a debt. You know that what you need is a debt or, or whatever you are using for a debt. And then when you are clear, I think some people say it's carrying or something. <laughs> and then when you are clear, you are using a diesel generator. Then you know you need diesel, diesel to power. So now the thing of fashion is what is required for you to go on and pursue. What will wake you up every single day is the vibe. Okay. And it comes, one of the actual you do is come when you are clear. Your, your, the source, just like the river and the ocean, the source of your passion is the point of clarity. Wow. The yeah. source of your passion is the point of clarity. That who of cleansing of one time is what we secret the passion. Thank you very much. Uh, I've come by a lot of people okay. and I've heard people make mention of oh I had passion for this earlier. I had passion for this. But presently now I no longer have passion for it. What do you think their case look like? So I said earlier that the point of clarity is your sort of so now imagine if you go to, you know dams, how they create dams, and how they fill up rivers. Yeah. What do they do? They tire the source. Mm-hmm. And then they fill up the source, and then the water will no longer come up. That is exactly what is happening. You have lost touch of your wife. You are very, very firm. You are very, very deep core with your wife. You are going to have a phone. You see, for me now, I am company to register. One of the services we offer is brand identity, which implies by and large for 
for logo, design, graphics, whatever the case may be. Those are the things that my design. And then also we provide technology, you know, in terms of websites, mobile apps, and all that for clients. And if I'm going on this channel that my passion is to create time and time and to and to create new brand. I'm lying. So that's what it's like. But because I'm clear about why, by the fact that we look forward to build a brand, a technology house that will move us to the future to come. You know, knowing fully you know that the future is a set of moments yet to exist. So, and if there is going to be any place we may add, it's going to be in our charge to create all of this. So I know that for sure. So I'm clear about why. I'm clear about why I'm on this job. So as such, it is the reason for working on everything and wanting to produce as much as possible logo, <laughs> as much as possible website, as much as possible mobile app, to a point where we can run can afford the resources to not search infrastructure. Mm. Yes, so why I'm still clear on my why? Why is this resounding in my head? There's no losing passion on crazy logo. Yeah. No, so the point is that we can go, go back to your why, go back to if it's not clear, it's not resounding. If you want to get out of poverty, if that's your why, then look deeply. Have you gotten out of poverty? If you have gotten out of poverty, you mm. must have going to lose your passion mm. for it. Mm. If on the one what you were trying to attain is getting out of forward, you're getting out of intimidation. If you have gone out of forward, you are not really in your area, you are most likely going to lose your passion for what you are doing. So sometimes you need to go and recalibrate your why. So for instance, the one I just talk about now, that if you want to get out of forward, maybe now that you have money far more than all your friends that can find may have lost your passion. Mm-hmm. Maybe you need to go to another place where you are the poorest guy in the world. Mm. That way, your focus will take, come back, which is getting out of the power. And as such, you have the passion to go for the key every time. Wow. So, this new reality that you just shed light to, mm-hmm. I've made me question the fact that is it possible for you to have a change of purpose? You know, it was last week we discovered our purpose. But I'm seeing that okay, if your purpose no longer holds, if the premise of why of your purpose no longer holds, then is it are you by any enemies have to shift what your purpose is? You have answered the question yourself. You said if your purpose no longer holds, why should are you holding on to it? What no longer holds, why should you hold on to it? Does that make sense? So it's no longer holds. So it's essential for you to know you are transcending into the future. The space for getting out of poverty is gone. And I have a car, and I have two cars, and I have an iPhone, and I have. So those conversations about, I just want to get out of poverty, I don't want to be. Or I want my mama to be proud of me. Your mama is already proud of you. Your papa is already proud. So sometimes, even if your purpose has that effect, you are still living with one You are still, you know. What you need to do is to immerse yourself and find a new power. Refine your purpose. Redefine exactly what you are saying for. You mm-hmm. Now, if you want to say you want to score, you want to win the match, and you're already two goals in. Sometimes I look at you notice that so I write for Ronaldo and Oko, you're already two goals in. What you want to do to make sure you score one goal? And you're already two goals in. You're looking forward to an action. And you look at a lot of other people, when you start scoring like four goals, and then you start looking for possibly of can I have double hat trick or something? Mm-hmm. So that's it. I have to make that. So the point that you it up to you can still do my report. You can see. Even my business at the point and this part point that I think one of the things we are strong going with in life now is the fact that the parents that we develop our business are being catered for. You understand? Okay. If you want to spend a million with our friend if you want to. So that has a bit us from the righteousness that we are trying to get out of. Mm-hmm. And I thought you are losing the, the knack, the skill, the, the passion to to cheer, to hunt, like before. 
So as such, it's why we are having the money that it's high time we move. Now that we define, because now that we have something bigger with challenges. Yeah. Now that we have a tougher conversation, something bigger than this. It's not because what we are doing is not going to work. Not because the challenge we are currently facing is too hard. But it's because the purpose for this existence has somehow, some way, some way been met. Maybe not the level evolved. So as such, the drive to want to kill is not like, so it's up to you to divide the purpose, divide the purpose. Come up with something new, come up with a whole new challenge that you fall for, that you really fall for, that you for, that and drive you throughout 19 years. Man. So when you have scored five people in the 19 years, what do you do this? Do for another purpose. So you have to divide the purpose, you have to divide the purpose, like, okay, let us create this, let us cut 10 goals in this, let us cut 15 goals in this. Let us cut 10 goals in this. Let us cut 10 goals in this. Let us cut 10 goals in this. So you will divine what you will design it creates that one that a new exciting reason to be alive, you know, and to work over everything. And that's the space for purpose. So you will divine it if we be energized to have So passion is not lost. People that are looking at it, it's not lost. It's the fact that they have not come to the established and look to it. Because it really suffer all that level. Or have we stopped for it? Mm-hmm. Wow. So you have to have that you divine what actually puts now. So, passion is the energy, is, is what actually keeps you going. Exactly. It's what keeps you going on the journey of your purpose. Mm-hmm. So, is there at any point in time that, you know, or should I ask you like this, what's your take on this quote? Quitters never win, winners never quit. In sense of purpose, you know, in sense of passion. Because at the point in time when people get to a part where things are quite difficult and uh thank you, I get your point. I just the the idea of Peter and Ramon when I never quit it's more of a question of even purpose and then as such it's from passion. Winners quit awful plan do that. That's the correct goal. We are quitter, but he does know what not to quitter. Especially when the premise of what you want to attain no longer holds. Oh. It's, it's essential you quit. And then, but you know what you want to quit? You can't, things like quitting on yourself, you can't quit on yourself. Hmm. Definitely. Those are the, really, we, those are the kind of quitting that we should talk about that you want to like. You can't quit on yourself. Mm-hmm. You can't quit on your, on your dreams, if it's still your dream. Yeah. But if we you know, your dream, if you understand that that dream is crafted for you by someone, you understand that those dreams no longer will no longer exist, then you can quit. Mm. As a, if those dreams, you know, some of us want to become, I like, we have a, a wide conversation where you say you want to become someone like a relationship with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the relationship with me, I might want to become someone like whatever before. And now it's combined with change. I want to become a technology guy. I want to go on and do a job. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't know if I want to become someone like a lot of things. So if those who don't have you can quit even quit on losing. But one thing you cannot quit on yourself. You can't, you can't go and quit on that. You just go and hang yourself somewhere and, oh. and go into retaliation. And all. You can't quit on your journey. You can't quit on your growth. Those are the things you cannot quit on. But quit, winners quit off it. Hmm. They just don't quit. In the right stuff. They don't quit the things that are like, they don't quit. They know to what's going to quit off. They mm-hmm. quit off on that. What quit does mean that they, they just keep on at the at the block road and then when it gets a point, they know they can't go any further. But what winners do is that quit on everything that actually is quite very often than any other person. And then they focus on what truly matters. Oh. That's that. Those little few that you know. So they may allow that will they allow their person to keep them on the run. It allow them to be very passionate while going through the journey. Mm. So that's what I have to say. Mm, thank you very much. Uh, I see you have a very huge weight of knowledge in this topic. And uh, I would like to know if you have some resources that you can actually highlight for us today. Well, uh, one of the books I would like to recommend is Deep Rise of God. Not about going through tough times, learning everything and all of that. And one of the powers that we tell you that you don't necessarily need it. And there's too many games, then wait. You know, 
it's going to get an as a W and all that. So there's a lot of resources out there that you can search, and then maybe at the end of the video, I will ensure that we provide mm -hmm. in the link below the resources that you can point to. But one important message is that most things that we do, like activities, practices, okay. we don't need to be passionate about them. What has to happen is that you have a clarity of purpose, and that you come up with a way towards a bigger goal. You don't need to be passionate about coding, you don't need to be passionate about design. You just have to have enough passion about making a change in the world. You don't need to be passionate about shoemaking or tailoring or whatever. You just have to be passionate about either satisfying people want or being of great service or contributing to the computer. But if you have a greater purpose that is clearly given, that you have to play to over you, you fall for, like you really fall for, then the activities are not things you're passionate about. They go, they hide it. It's what it's what being passionate about. Wow. So the activity do no longer look like that because you, do, you know so quietly that it contributes to a greater purpose, mm -hmm. which is what you're talking about. Wow. Yep. You have shared a light to a lot today and they are very wonderful. So, thank you very much, Mr. Allen. Just today, as I've done, shed more light on why, on the purpose, how you can actually rejuvenate your passion. Like, if you think you are losing passion in your purpose, how you can go back to the why and, and then knowing where to quit and knowing what to quit, knowing where to stay on and lean on. So thank you very much. Till next week when we shall be having another episode of World Without Map. Cheers.